Hello, I'm Chris Hayden with CW Hayden Company from Auburn, Maine. Today I want to do a video on defect removal using 3M purple finishing film discs and right angle orbital sanders to remove the defects that are introduced into this gel coated panel right here. It's a three step process that gets continued into when you have to polish, but for just the defect removal in this video I'm going to use three steps, a P1200, a P1500 and a P2000. These are all performed damp to keep the loading down and the friction down, but also you want it just damp, not soaking wet. So with that, let's get started. I missed out a little water. Start with a 1200. I'll stop frequently to mist off the backup pad and put a little more on. You can see that there's a little bit of loading that started up in places here. So I've made six passes with the 1200 grit going north, south, east, west to make sure that I cover all the surfaces completely, all the areas completely. Then I'll go ahead and just do a tactile test to see if I've eliminated most of the defects. I can see that there's still quite a bit on there. So I'm going to just hit it again with some more water. It's important to not use too much water because it'll, the, uh, the disc will hydroplane and it'll reduce the cutting efficiency as you're sanding. And it'll just take longer. The P1200 grit is a very fine grit, so the cutting action is not tremendously fast. It's helped by the water, but it's important to not go coarser than that so that we don't introduce scratches that are difficult to, to get out later on and ultimately would maybe show up when you're polishing and then you have to start all over again. So I take a little extra time in the initial step of 1200 and then the, the subsequent steps are a lot quicker. I'm gonna wipe it off, clean it off a little bit, get the sludge off. I only feel it just a little bit, so I'm going to hit it just a little bit more. At this point you can see that the blue color is starting to fade, the gold is, is still there a little bit, but it's, um, it's quite smooth at this point and there's no more, you, you can't really feel any more raised edges. So I'm going to go ahead and shift over to the next grit, which is the 1500. Rewet the surface after wiping it off. You can hear the sander start to work harder as the surface gets flatter and flatter. The, the stiction, as it's called, begins to increase the friction and it, uh, it loads the sander quite a bit. You can actually stall one if you, if you uh, let it get too dry. So it's important to keep it clean. It's pretty obvious from the look of the panel now that you can see that we're not removing a tremendous amount of paint. It's coming off in a slush, but the defects that are still in here are, are not sanded through yet, which gives us a pretty good indication that we're not cutting all the way through the gel coat that's underneath it, which is important. I'm going to switch over to the 2000 grit now, and that'll be our final step. A 
At this point, we should have a finish that would be very easy to buff. Starting with a P2000 as your starting point to polish, be very, very quick and very easy to bring that up to a very high luster. And again, you can see that we didn't go through all of these defects that I deliberately put into the surface, um, yet it's still completely flat and smooth. They're all feathered out completely. So that's how we sand and polish to get defects. Uh, it could be a dust, it could be a bug, it could be a run or a drip or something like that or a water spot. Um, any of these defects can be done on a large scale with six inch uh, purple finishing film discs in grades P1200, 1500, and P2000. Thanks for watching.